Hi guys, it's Char Star here with Reggae Entertainment Lifestyle. This is part one of our two-part series with Honor Rebel. <laughs> okay, Honor Rebel. What does Honor Rebel stand for? Well, um, Honor Rebel was a name given to me back in the day. First, first of all, it was Honorable Apache. Right. And then after I went with Spectrum, which is um, specialist, which is, you know, used to be the, the, the manager for Shaba right. and Cabra, and the list goes on, Patra, so on and so forth. So him say, the first deal I got was with Priority Records. So him said, boy, if we sign this deal, we have to go take off the Apache for your name. Right. So I said, oh, we are going to do it. So he said, all right, here we are going to do. We are going to not spell honorable the way how it normally spell. Right. And we're going to spell it H-O-N-O-R-E-B-E-L. And because you have this rebelish personality about you, <laughs> and the honor for me, because me is an honorable type of individual, and to all the respect when we have for music right. and for the whole industry. One of your first hit records back in the 90s, can you tell us about that and the production behind that? Well, um, first I start out with, 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 with Youth Man Promotion of Jamaica. You know, big up Sugar Miner, Tyri P, my brother. You understand me? And we used to live up speaker box, you know, in the sound system era. And um, from then, I gained that great respect about grinding, you know what I mean, Put, putting in the work where music is concerned. And from then, I embarked into the United States. And I took it more seriously. And I went to Baltimore, Maryland. And from then, um, I was with two different bands, which is the Mighty Invaders and Determination. So I used to tour with them while, while I was still going to high school. And my background is mainly from sound system and live music, live band. Yes, I read so, where you played a trumpet. Right, in school. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So from then, I didn't really take, then I didn't really take the recording part of my career seriously. Right. I was more focusing on live performance. Correct. Because my, my, my idol then was like Professor Nuts and Papa Son and them man them. Right. You dig? So... What happened after that now, I left Baltimore and I came to Miami and I linked up with Everbeat, which is Willie Linda. And then now I started to take my recording part of my career more seriously. seriously yeah. And he, devel he developed the inner part of my talent that I didn't know was there. He discovered it. Right. And so on. And, you know, the rest was history. You know, so I, I got that experience from him which right now embedded in my DNA which I could take and actually help other people in the industry. And I see that you've been doing that. One of the things that the audience and your fans love about your music is that it's very diverse. Whatsoever genre mm -hmm. the record labels or producer fit me in or put me in, I always bring my culture and my roots to that genre and make it mine. Right. Actually, so it's not like I went outside of, of the umbrella or the landscape of reggae and dancehall. Right. I bring whatsoever that genre is inside of reggae and dancehall. And fuse it. You understand me? So a lot of people try to box us in as artists, right. meaning like they try to marginalize us on a certain level and label us and say, well, you are Jamaican, so you must have this type of music. Right. And, you know, once you start the other kind of music, you become a sellout. <laughs> well, but you're a rebel, so. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, 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 I accept the labeling right. because um, I am using my, my influence and my culture to get other people um, entwine or get other people aware of our culture right. because it, it, how it's going to be if I just just have all of this buckle up, all this talent buckle up inside of me and just marginalize myself to just reggae and dance all, right. you know, I, I can expand it to a broader audience. Which you have and you did that 
um, frequently with a lot of artists like Pitbull. I mean, it was a vibe where, where we get to know each other at the same time, but we also experience this new venture right. of me being signed to Ultra Records Sony and promoting the song with Pitbull. Now you see it. And right. That was a big record back in 09. Yes. yes. That, was, Huge. that was the record that took me on the international landscape, which um, I really thank Pit for that. And um, the whole team that we, you know, we was working together with at that moment, you know, really propelled it to another level. Yeah, one thing I must say when I walk in this morning, your outfit, the color, the two-piece, tell me about it. Oh, thank you. It is courtesy of Off Madison Boutique. Your ear do look like you have it specially done today by somebody special. Just for you. Wow. <laughs> All right. Who do it? It's done by Nash. Hi, guys. This is Char Star with Reggae Entertainment Lifestyle. And we just wrapped up part one of our two-part series with Honorable. Remember to keep it real.